Hey guys, this is Lorenzo Valoria uh, with the Azura's Wrath demo, which is available on Xbox Live right now. Uh, just in case you wanted to uh, or didn't want to fill up your hard drive or uh, take the time to download it, we we've taken the time for you and we, we got it right here. And uh, with me, I have um, Sterling McGarvey, and uh, I'm Gary Steinman, and we're just gonna run through this. Uh, Witness the power bestowed upon us by our priestess, your very daughter, Mithra! My daughter? Mithra's power? So Lorenzo's uh, <laughs> driving the video, but you can see right from the start that this game is is big. I mean, big as in, if you think that guy's big, wait till he gets even bigger. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the first boss fights, and uh, uh, there's a lot of quick time heavy portions to this, but uh, I, as you can see, I'm like shooting at him and I could do special moves with pressing the Y button. Uh, after I lock on, you could do like a homing attack. So uh, the goal here, uh, Cyber, Cyber Connect is developing this game. Uh, the goal here, I think they've said, is uh, they want to change Asura's fighting style based on every encounter. So while it's going to be, uh, there'll be quick time heavy events here and there, Sometimes it'll feel like a brawler. Sometimes it might feel like a, sh a shooter. Yeah, I noticed there's some kind of elements like that little encounter felt a little like Space Harrier. And I think Bayonetta did that a little bit as well with uh, some of their stuff. Kind of that throwback kind of uh, throwback fights. Right. Right, it's kind of like classic gameplay uh, all tossed into a, a giant mixing bowl with super huge gods battling it out. I mean, you're going to see, uh, I'm not sure if it's in this demo, but I, I've, I've played some levels in this before, and you, you'll, see, um, you'll see things get so big that it makes those Titan battles in God of War look like um, just minor scuffles. It's got a very kind of anime feel to it, too. I mean, CyberConnect made its bones doing anime-based games. Yeah, they worked on uh, the Dot Hack RPGs on PS2 and uh, a lot of the Naruto fighters as well for PlayStation. Can you feel it? She suffers to atone oh, I like that. Instead of skip, skipping the cutscene, you could just shut Wizen up. Yeah. The Great Reaver! Oh, it is such a tragedy. I mean, this is funny. I, th I think this is really... Your daughter, then kneel before me. You are no longer a demigod. You are nothing more than a traitor. Ah! This is where it gets extreme. His six mighty arms. Right. Is it six? Just threw him out of Except nowhere. Six. Yeah. Say by burst, do they mean your thumb? I saw how much you were mashing B. That looked painful. Yeah, yeah, sure. You have to mash it pretty hard. 
So people sometimes, uh, th those who have seen this already or have um, played it already, there, there's there's been some, I guess, not so favorable feedback about the quick time heaviness of it. But in my experience playing it, and you could speak to this too, Lorenzo, it's just, it's so unapologetically over the top and bombastic and full of these giant non-stop set pieces that, to me, I've had a lot of fun playing through a lot of these levels. Right, it's, uh, you know, the, the quick time events aren't, you know, they're not boring. You're watching something that's, like, really pretty cool. It's like almost watching an episode of, like, Dragon Ball Z or... And then or you like get to go into, like, these... Anime. These these uh, these almost mini game like se sequences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, watching this, it kind of reminds me. I mean, it feels like there are, you know there are elements that are very very reminiscent of what I've seen in other games. This reminds me a bit of that kind of climactic boss fight in Star Wars: Force Unleashed, except it looks less annoying. <laughs> well, that was the worst button where you had to pull the um, yeah, pull down yeah. the star destroyer. Yeah, the yeah. Two that thing almost killed me. This looks like a much better battle than that. Oh, it's only just starting. Yeah, this is his normal size, and he's about to like read a repulsa grow. Oh, excellent. <laughs> There's always cool little things like that where you catch a missile and you have to throw it back, throw it yeah. back and there's a quick little cutscene or a quick time event. Look at him, little guy right there, about to take him on. Excellent. I totally missed that one. Work. But what I what I've enjoyed about this so far is it fulfills that whole power fantasy thing. It just makes you feel like a badass. I mean, look what you're doing right now. You're about <laughs> to just pierce through this god. Oh come on. I was just actually kind of thinking, it's like kind of endearing how over the top it is. Like it's very, it is very unapologetic. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, wait to, <laughs> it's going to get bigger. This is just small potato so far. He's not happy. A <laughs> monkey like you can defeat a god? Behold. I shall show you our true power. Here we go. Spoken like a true Monster boss fight. Reactor, I love I love the narration I of what I'm about to do. Oh. Here's the part where I enact phase two. Fear and intimidation. This is like phase two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven deities. I am an absolute being that protects this world and its mortals. I mean, his belly is like as big as the moon right now. Oh, are they cutting it there? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Just like an anime with the TV, the commercial breaks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is fantastic. That is cool. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I mean, he's as big as the, the whole Earth. Asura the traitor. Asura the destructor. This might be my favorite you moment coming do up. Not belong in this world. Die! Go, the mighty 
mighty finger of God oh, to smote you. I'm just going to touch the shiny red button. <laughs> the fidelity here too. I like the uh, the 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 entry into the atmosphere, getting all hot. Oh, good, good. He's bracing himself. Sumo style. This is theater of the absurd. This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Wait for it. A nice quiet <laughs> moment. Got to build suspense. What happens? You traitorous fool! <laughs> it wasn't me. I had decided to save what you. What what great rebirth! Father! Mithra! Zilika. Your death shall be the foundation of my new world. Ah! Here we go, start pounding. Now, here comes his titular wrath. Oh, this is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> just start punching the giant finger. I mean, this is where a quick time event works for me. It's You're being visually rewarded for something. It fits the context. Yeah. Super punch, super <laughs> uppercut. It's like the opposite of a hot patch. <laughs> failed once at living. You are a fool. Next time, do not come back. So there you have it. Pretty quick time heavy, but lots of fun, huh, Lorenzo? Yeah, so we're gonna uh, jump into the second uh, episode. Uh, uh, right after this, so you check out the next video if you guys wanted to. Uh. Cool. We'll be back soon. <laughs>